Have you ever wondered what happens to street sweeper brushes when they get worn out? Yeah, I never thought about that either. Well, apparently they make for pretty good back scratchers for livestock and zoo animals in particular. Since climate change is one of the biggest issues of our time, I'm doing a series this year called Greener on the Money, looking at how environmental solutions can also be good for business. And I start with a store in North Texas that has sold a lot of those discarded street sweeper brushes. Another thing they sell a lot of. So this is old bowling alleywood. Can be turned into new tables or butcher blocks or a shuffleboard. This store specializes in materials that are used but still have a lot of use left, often for ways that were never intended. You know, I honestly think this would be kind of cool in a man cave. Take, for instance, worn conveyor belts, huge rolls of them. That's me there. The industries that used them now consider them trash. And somebody else comes along and says, this is the treasure that I've been looking for. Oh yeah, absolutely. People reuse it as conveyor for small projects they're using. Or to walk on in gardens or to skirt their RVs. Also popular in Texas as windbreakers for cows. It is keeping them warm. Used conveyors also have helped to corral cattle or you could use old guardrail for that too. That is if you have enough left over after constructing your rest stop shelter. Yep, painted used guardrail. I was amazed when I see some of the uses that people come up with for this stuff. It's very creative. Yes. Are, you, are you still amazed when you see some of the things that people do with this stuff? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. That's Ryan Groth, the Director of Operations at Repurposed Materials, Inc. The photos I've been showing you came from them and their newsletter and their Instagram page. Their DFW location is one of six across the country, and it's their third busiest. They get all of these items from companies and schools and governments, and then they sell them, usually for about half of what they would cost new. By Buyers are companies, farmers, ranchers, governments, and just people. So just anybody can walk in here and sort of browse it and... Yeah, open to the public. Because you never know when you might need some used college football turf. Some of these orange ones, you know, that's going to most likely be the end zone. That could be patio flooring with a backstory. There were touchdowns on this. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe also grab some old gym flooring and convert it into tables and walls. And how about transforming whiskey and wine barrels? Still have the wine stains on them. Oh, yeah. Into planters, tables, dog beds, dog houses, sinks, and storage cabinets. Perhaps the only item they sell that's more versatile than that is, of course, the used fire hose, which can become chairs, more chairs, a handrail, a chainsaw cover, guitar straps, and an animal playground, among other things. It's really fun to look at a retired boat turned into a raised garden and discarded billboard vinyls being used for a teepee or to cover hay bales. But seriously, this all started with a guy who worked in solid waste and saw way too much stuff being thrown out when it still had useful life. Keep in mind, all this stuff was destined for the landfill. Repurposed Materials estimates that just last year, they kept 16 million pounds of stuff out of landfills, and they supported jobs and made money doing it. I have more info on this in my article today posted at Jason Wheeler TV on Facebook and Twitter, and send me some photos there of your best repurposing ideas too. Maybe it'll help the rest of us learn some new ways to be greener on the money.